Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So for today we have an unboxing of Burrow Furnace. This is the 9 inch frying skillet. Uh, this is cast iron. I have already actually just pre-cut the box and uh, one thing that I did notice in here right away is that they offer uh, this little letter here. Burrow Furnace Craft Cookware along with a handwritten letter on the back side. Thank you Luis. We hope that you enjoy this skillet, Bert and Liz. Um, from what I recall, it was John and Liz. I'm not sure if they have parted ways, but either way, uh, great little um, letter that I enjoy. And I always keep these actually, and I have them on my fridge. Um, and right away, guys, I have noticed that the weight on this is actually pretty hefty. Uh, I thought it was gonna be on the lighter side, uh, one thing that I also noticed right away is that the handle is a solid piece in which I thought that perhaps it was somewhat hollowed out, uh, which it is not. But either way, it looks great. The handle is very ergonomical. It feels good in the hand. Uh, and overall, the skillet just feels very sturdy. Uh, it's thick enough to, I want to say, withstand the heat. And uh, that is a huge plus because I did think that it was going to be on the thinner side. So overall, just uh, the skillet itself is actually pretty thick all around. Sidewalls and the uh, cooking surface are equally, I wanna say, the uh, same proportion and thickness. So that is a huge plus for me. Um, I'm gonna grab my uh, scale and I do wanna weigh this myself. Now on their website, it does mention that it weighs five pounds. So we're gonna see if that is true. It also mentions that it, uh, the total length of it is 17 and a half inches. The cooking surface is gonna be seven inches and the uh, lip to lip is gonna be nine inches. So I'm gonna grab my measuring tape as well so you guys can see. We're gonna measure this real quick. Um, Burrow Furnace has been around since 2011. It actually has been uh, very well reviewed by many. Uh, I wanna say even um, some celebrity chefs have uh, gave it great reviews. Uh, Anthony Bourdain, I think, has a video on this. And uh, this is something that I've been looking for for a long time and um, they didn't have these in stock, but uh, I know they don't have these in stock anymore either. So uh, if you are looking for these, possibly just uh, sign up with their newsletter. And as you can see here, it weighs four pounds, 10.7 ounces. So uh, the four pounds, uh, if it was five pounds, it'd be 14.6, 14.16 ounces. 16 ounces, I think is one pound. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what it is. But So it is a little bit lighter, which is a, a plus. The dimensions are nine uh, inches lip to lip. I'm gonna try and show you guys here the best that I can. It is a little bit more than what it says. So it's about nine and a quarter-ish, um, which is okay, not a big deal. The uh, rim here, and you, as you can see, it's very sloped, almost like a chef skillet, it is about inch and a half. So that is a decent amount, a good amount of um, wall so that you don't have your veggies just flying out if you're sauteing. And I wanna say, you know, since this is more of a chef skillet, you can do a lot of uh, sauteing and flipping and things of that nature. Cooking surface on the bottom, we're looking close to six and three quarter inch. So a little bit less than what they're stating, but uh, as I mentioned, not a big deal. Um, they don't have dimensions on the handle, so we're gonna give you the dimensions real quick. Uh, it's about five and three quarters. So um, good size, as I mentioned, one of the uh, things that I noticed right away is the handle is very, very comfortable to hold in your hand. And it is a little bit less than 17 and a half inches. So the dimensions, you know, I did hear I'm not sure, but correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I did hear that they were updating their skillets. And from here, you can see the handle about three inches in length. So the handle, the helper handle is a great size and I do like that a lot. Now, one thing that I do wanna mention about the uh, overall cooking surface and the underside as well, just, just everything on this skillet has a micro texture. It isn't rough, but it, kind of reminds me of the heat treated lodge skillets where they kind of had that grainy feel, but it's not rough to the hand like the traditional iron that uh, that you see from like uh, lodge or 
um, any other brands like Quizanel, um, you know, even Amazon, I think, has, you know, the Chinese made, has a thicker or, or you know, rougher, um, just a rougher surface overall. But this is very, very smooth. Um, and as I mentioned, I think it's going to do great. One thing that I also want to mention is that the seasoning already uh, is very, very nice. It is pre-seasoned, so I do like that. I want to say this is the best pre-seasoning that I've seen so far on all the uh, modern cast iron that I've seen, uh, even better than Black Lock. But uh, overall, I am very impressed with the way it looks. Very happy with it so far. I will be doing a cooking video. I will be doing some shorts as well, so look forward to that. Uh, this video is just mainly for you guys to take a look at the dimensions of it and uh, and if it's something you guys are interested, Burrow Furnace, you can go to their website, burrowfurnace.com and check them out. Sign up to their newsletters so that you can be informed when you can purchase one. Um, anyway, guys, I appreciate your time and as always, thank you guys for watching.